there's been a beer with crawfish boil mix. If you wanted to do a Florida man cocktail, it would be that beer with some crawfish essence. And then like, just like, just sweat collected from <laughs> spring breakers. <laughs> Ring it out of somebody's oh like dirty tank top. Yeah, that's, that's the twist part of that cocktail. Oh, I don't know about y'all, but I need a f- drink. Hello, welcome to Drinking with Dory. Eat me, Dory. I don't know why I'm doing that accent. No, I'm sorry. Oh, what am I drinking on? It's called a Mind Eraser, and it is a classic cocktail from the 1980s. It's a one-to-one-to-one -one -one ratio with uh, typically vodka, but vodka is boring. So I did Mezcal and Kahlua and soda, but it's grapefruit soda, but you can't really tell the difference. Your girl didn't take her Adderall today. And hopefully this will wake me up and also erase everything in my mind. Here's hoping. Oh, so good. You know what else is so good? My gas road and I, <laughs> we have a musician who just wants you to have a great day. It's Joshua Starkman. Come in. Oh my God, look at that. Amen, brother. One flush salute to you. Have a great day. Second up, we have an amazing activist who co-runs. Oh, gender is over if you want it. It's Ree McGuire. I'm really what? glad that and went well, because this was one take. And last but certainly not least, a stand-up comic with the best name in the biz is Glenn, is Glenn Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any merch <laughs> you know while i have you glenn what you drinking on i don't actually drink because i'm on like half a dozen different medications to keep my spine from fusing together i made like a coffee syrup uh it's a hazelnut coffee blend and uh what what else do they have in there oh uh, some chocolate bitters that my father-in-law got me re what you drinking on I think this is called um, a, a maple smash, if you will. It's um, one part bourbon, though I only had rye. And so I spent a while, you know, Googling the difference between rye and bourbon and making sure it was going to be kosher. The verdict is that rye is um, a little bit more spicy compared to the sweetness of bourbon. Mm. Um, and then we've got some maple syrup and we've got some uh, lemon and a nice little lemon twist in there. Starkman, which I, I can't not call you Starkman because I've known you for so long. So he's just gonna be Starkman for here on out. I don't give a shit what you know him as. Yeah, you, you knew me before I smoked weed. <laughs> but everyone thought I smoked weed, which was uh, the best part about it. Yeah. That kind of a person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's a type. What are you drinking? I am drinking a beer called Paradise Park made by Urban South Brewery here in New Orleans, Louisiana, where I live. This beer, it's a great beer, but what I appreciate about it is it's the beer of Florida man without knowing that it is. It's from Louisiana, but look at it. Doesn't that remind us of Florida, like the Florida lottery? Yeah. Huh. This is, this is good. No one wants to <laughs> be really. It tastes like Florida man. You don't want to drink what Florida man tastes like? Uh, real quick, Glenn, if you can believe it, you are not the first Glenn I've had on this show so far. I'm sure you just are bumping into Glenn's left and right. You know, like I've met a few, but it's not like I've, I've never like worked with one. But like I've met other ones. Like I'm named after another guy named Glenn. So which Glenn are you named after? My parents' friend. My parents had a friend named Glenn, and when my mom went into labor, he and his wife Judy came to the house to watch my older brother so they could go to the hospital. And I guess they're like, just Glenn, I, I guess. They were so indebted to him that they named their child after him. Glenn, I guess. If you had to get a drink with a Glenn, a living or dead Glenn, which Glenn would it be? Oh, I would drink, there's another Glenn Tickle, specifically. He's like an investment banker in Australia. What? There's, there's, two, there's two other Glenn Tickles that I know of. <laughs> I've talked to one of them. I used to host a talk show, 
and I thought it would be fun to interview them as guests. The one from Australia had no interest in talking to me, doing the show at all. Years later, my parents went to Australia and like met up with him for a drink. So I, I would want to do that and be like, hey, uh, why didn't you do my show? <laughs> Just, it's been like a decade since that happened, but I'm- oh, still, No, but you're holding on tight. Yeah, I'm, I'm vengeful. <laughs> you know, we're gonna go from Australia back here to the East Coast to a little place in South Carolina called The Wig. And oh. Ree McGuire uh, recently posted about The Wig. What is so great about The Wig and what is your favorite drink to get there? So The Wig is this bar that's underground directly across the street from the Capitol in South Carolina. It's one of those places where it's you're when you're underground, you're like, if something were to happen outside, I would either be really protected from the elements or I would definitely die here because the escape route is only one tiny, you know, like stair stairway that I have to pass through all these like smokers outside to like run upstairs. Um, and it's it's also I believe it's in a in a bank or a former bank. So there's like a the back room is like the bank vault that has taxidermy and stuff like that in the back, and it's just like a very weird, cool vibe. My favorite drink to get when I'm there though, a nice IPA on draft, depending what they have. So that's what I what I tend to go for. Yeah. The bank isn't there anymore, but you have treasured memories. Joshua Storkman. Yeah. Um, you have been doing this fabulous, fabulous series called Have a Great Day. Yeah. Um, since 2018, you've had so many amazing musicians and singers. And um, then you had me. Yeah. Hey, Dory. One with, one without. One with, one without. That's the Highland Great Day. Yeah, have a great day anyway. We believe in you, baby. Was I one of the drunkest people to ever do that with you? <laughs> Oh, well, we were drunk. I don't know. Or you were? I don't oh, know. Oh, boy. Do other people who come on your show drink to the extent that I was really um, liquid couraging it up? It only happens every once in a while that perhaps there's someone that brings over alcohol and I sometimes partake in it and sometimes I get a little tipsy as well. And it's it's fun and loose and weird. And I usually just stick to weed. <laughs> well, you know, some people are very high functioning drinkers and you know <laughs> point at yourself <laughs> go ahead your new special is all about processing grief it's called good grief you position funerals which i agree with to some extent as parties like sometimes you have the best time at shivas you know so like what's what's your go-to funeral drink though if there's like an open bar and it's like a really nice schnazzy affair what are you going for before I stopped drinking, I would, I would probably do like a, a Manhattan because it's like easy and I, it's uh, something most anybody attending bar can make pretty well. And if they mess it up, like you can just add, it's, it's easy to like correct them without yeah. making it a big thing and seeming like a jerk. Like right. if you get another one, be like, oh, can you like a little less vermouth this time? And they're nice about it instead of like, listen, you idiot. You just toss it in their face. You, that's the that's the way to go at a funeral. You definitely want to toss something in the bartender's face, even if it's like your auntie. It's your fault they died. <laughs> you did this to you grandma. <laughs> Re, your gender is over shirts. You know, they've been sported by Miley, by Laura Jane, by Locke. Locke Watson. So it's like, eventually, I can see some sort of party happening. You know what I mean? Some sort of fundraiser. And if you were gonna have like a signature cocktail called, if you want it, what would go into it? I love tequila. Something with tequila that both like elevated it. So you would want like an Añejo, like a classy aged tequila. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a classy aged tequila that would be, that could feel like both refined, but also still like, yeah, we're tequila now you know i think it's like trying to find find that mixture there i'm not skilled mm. enough in the in the cocktail world to be re really able to like name exactly what it would be well i'm going to consult you know I and mean, we can put it out we can put it out to the viewers hey want to develop a, cu a, a custom cocktail for if you want it a great charity can i play the song tequila yes i've been waiting to play tequila that whole talk do it All right, we gotta get 
almost there. The best part. Tequila. 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 He did it. <laughs> what are we cheersing to slash plugging? Starkman, let's start with you. I'm going to cheers towards... Uh, towards, in, in the general direction of... Towards uh, <laughs> resolving in, in some sort of way that allows us to be functional again. And uh, plugging, oh Lord. Listen, everybody, you're gonna have a great day if you wear my t-shirt. You, you, you right there. You put on t-shirt, you could buy one for every day of the week. Bree, darling, what are we cheers into today? Um, I'm gonna cheers to just like things to look forward to. <laughs> like I feel like that's been a really big, you know, it's like things to look forward to do that. Um, and then in terms of what I'm plugging, you know, I think uh, on my mind a lot, oh, Georgia, Georgia's been on my mind a lot. Um, and I think I'm just gonna continue to plug things like Fair Fight and Black Voters Matter. Senior Tickle, que este, plugging. I will cheers to, uh, I, have, I have a special out uh, you can stream it on Amazon. It's called Good Grief, a comedy about loss and being bad at it. Cheers to all of us uh, working through the of our everyday lives with our unique gifts. You didn't have to watch this long, but you did. And it means so much to me. So thank you for that. Um, like and subscribe on YouTube. I hate it. You got to do it. So like, let's just do, do it. it. I don't do it. Do it. Do it. Follow the Instagram at Drinking with Dory. Um, and, and just, you know, if you got money, <laughs> you know where to send it. So this has been Drinking with Dory. And I'm Dory.